What's healthier, black olives or green olives? Green and black olives grow on the same tree. The only difference is that green olives are picked before they're riped, while the black ones are left to ripen on the tree. In terms of nutrition, they're very similar. But green olives have more of the fat-fighting polyphenol hydroxytyrosol, which is fantastic, because while all polyphenols are great for health, this special one is incredible for your skin, joints, health, and of course, your weight. But at the same time, green olives have more sodium than black ones. Speaking of sodium, that's the one downside of olives. You see, in order to be edible, raw olives must first undergo a process of debittering. They're soaked in a salty solution, which also destroys some of the polyphenols. So is there a way to get the health benefits of olives without the downsides? Absolutely. Extra virgin olive oil. It's extracted from raw olives, so there's no added sodium, and you don't lose any of the polyphenols. But you might be surprised to learn that not all extra virgin olive oil contains the same amount of polyphenol. It can be confusing because it depends where and how the olives are grown, harvested, and pressed. Here are my top three tips for choosing the best olive oil for your health. Well, you know there are sommeliers who can tell you everything about wine. The notes, what year it's from, what part of the world it's from. Basically, all different ways to say how good a wine is or not. And actually, you can do the same thing with olive oil. Oh yeah, of course. So I've tasted olive oil all over the world, from California to Italy to Australia to even more surprising countries of origin. But in my experience, there's a few things a good olive oil always had. It should have a beautiful golden color. If it's really light, it's probably not very concentrated, which means you may not be getting as many health benefits. What should it smell like? It should have a strong smell. Now, this may seem counterintuitive, but the stronger your oil smells, better the chance it's going to do a lot for your body. Sniff your olive oil, like this. And if you notice smells that are peppery, green, or with a bite, that's a really good sign. It's going to be good for supporting heart health, weight loss, your joints, and your skin. And actually, this is interesting. I read something that said many Americans are actually accustomed to olive oil that's gone rancid because the mild taste of many grocery store olive oils actually masks the rancidity. So if you get one that smells stronger than you used to, like this one, that's a great sign. If you got one that doesn't smell like much of anything, put it back. What should it taste like? Okay, and then lastly, you should taste a big bite when you take a sip or shot of it, with or without food. This goes hand in hand with the odor and smell. You're looking for something really strong, green, and peppery. 